Hello, and today I'm reviewing Love's Unending Legacy by Jeanette Oak, and this is the fifth book in the series. Um, this to me was another high point of the series, um, because it does deal with Marty and Clark, and they're my favorite characters, and at the same time, we're starting to see a lot of the family dynamics change. And this one is kind of about how what happened in the last book. It's kind of how they adjust to that. And then there is a huge surprise in this book. And it's also about Marty understanding that even though she's getting a little older, she's not that old. And... It's about acceptance and stuff. So this to me was another high note in the series. I really enjoyed this book a lot. So with that being said, I give this one a 5 out of 5 star rating. Because I did really enjoy it. I've never seen the movies, so that's why I'm not doing a lot of comparisons here. What got me interested in these books is I did catch, like, the last half of the very last movie of the series. I was like, well, that title sounds familiar. And when I got to looking, it, sure enough, it was on my shelf. It was a book that somebody had given me, and I had never read it like they didn't want it anymore, so I ended up with it. So, now I am going to be moving on. This is the one I just finished, which is Love's Unfolding Dream. And I'm just going to go ahead and include this in on this review. Just because I don't feel like doing a separate review. That's horrible, I know. But Love's Unfolding Dream. Okay, and this is book six. And by Jeanette Oak, obviously. And this is about the, su the surprise at the end of the last book. Um, so, basically, this is about how things kind of change, and the teenage years, and growing up, this is a coming-of-age story, pretty much, and realizing one's dream. I mean, that's really what this is about, is realizing your dream, realizing how hard you're willing to fight for it, or work for it, or, um, not be told no. So, this to me was, it was, it wasn't a high point in the series, but it wasn't a low point either. It was like a four and a half stars. Like, it wasn't a five star, but it wasn't a four star. It was like in between those, which is still really, really good. Um, to me, this was... This whole series is about the family growing, I know, but I fell in love with Marty because she makes mistakes. Like, everybody, like, any character in these books, like, they make mistakes, but Marty's mistakes are so funny. I mean, that's just how they are. I mean, they're just really, really funny. Like, in the very first book, when she met Clark, like, she couldn't cook anything other than pancakes. So, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, it was pancakes, pancakes, and pancakes. And that just cracked me up. But, so, four and a half stars for this. It was still a really solid point in the series. But it just, it... I've seen a lot of Marty in this book. But... She wasn't as funny as what she is in some of the other books. In, in most of the books, like, she's kind of like a humorous character. Like, I don't know if she was intentionally made like that or if it's just me. But her little mistakes, like, just crack me up. And the way she thinks about things just cracks me up. So, I'm currently reading Love Takes Wing by Jeanette Oak. And after I get done with this series, I am going to take a break from the westerns for a while. Because it has made me want to read a few more westerns. But at the same time, I do have a few fantasy books and young adult books that I want to get done. 
I will also be reviewing a couple kids books here tonight. So we can look forward to that. Yay!